The city has launched an investigation into some of its own bylaw officers after they are accused of sexual harassment by some of Toronto's most vulnerable service workers. Yesterday, a city committee heard from a number of groups representing women working in the city's holistic centers who recently launched an online petition. They allege staff have been subject to hundreds of inspections by bylaw officers in recent months. The claim was not only that they were questioned, but some allege they've been asked to take off their uniforms and show officers their undergarments. Others say they've been forced to sing for the officer's own entertainment. They also allege staff were prevented from using the bathroom and pictures are taken of them without their consent. Well, Councillor Kristen Wong Tam says she sat down with some of the women who have come forward. She says most are from a Chinese background and they speak li little English. She says many of them feel that they are being racially targeted by the city. They felt that uh, having an officer come in three to four times uh, a week to physically inspect their business and to ask for repeated questions of ID checks, uh, they felt that that was rather punitive. Uh, it was very disruptive to their business. And some of the more serious allegations would include bylaw officers asking women uh, holistic practitioners to disrobe and show them their undergarments, uh, which I believe is completely inappropriate and, uh, and, it, and it is a, a form of sexual uh, violence. None of these allegations have been proven. And a little background, the city recently hired five new bylaw officers after the 2017 Auditor General's report called for an increase in inspections on holistic centers. As of late 2016, there were 410 such licensed locations in Toronto. The city said as many as a quarter of those appeared to be offering unauthorized services such as erotic massages. In response to the allegations, the head of the city's Municipal Licensing and Standards Department said in a statement today, quote, the concerns raised through the deputations yesterday will be investigated. We have met with and will continue to meet with some of the groups that spoke yesterday to get their feedback and hear their concerns. The city takes complaints of staff misconduct very seriously and have mechanisms in place for investigation once they are received. City staff are expected to conduct themselves professionally at all times. And we're still waiting to hear back from the city whether they put those inspections on hold in light of these allegations. If you want to read the full story, you can go to our website, citynews.ca.